Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. In today's video I will be unboxing a Zeta high pressure washer that I got from Bunnings. It's 1800 watts and they claim it would pump out 2030 psi of pressure. So before I start my video, I would like to emphasize the reason for and buying this particular uh, pressure uh, washer and uh, unboxing. So uh, a couple of years ago I bought the previous version of it and I could not find anything like that anymore in the shops. Uh, it's the Azita 1300 watt pressure, 1450 psi. And I did not review that one because I thought there's no point of it. But if you still would like me to review and compare two of those, uh, I can create another video. So, uh, before I begin, the purpose of this video is actually to see whether budget um, appliances are good for everyday use and if they're any good in general. And if you're new to my channel, I would appreciate if you subscribe and uh, hit thumbs like for this video. Uh, and that will help me to drive my product reviews further. So, how did I get this one first? So, before that one I had the Karcha, and Karcha had, um, it has uh, two separate lines. I think it's more premium line where I think more, most of the components meant, uh, um, made in Europe, I think, somewhere, and the Chinese line. So, the equivalent of that, even Azito is a Chinese brand as well, the quality of culture in 1450 psi was really really bad first of all the inner label to tell you not to run pressure washer for more than 10-15 minutes and then give it a rest it has some sort of plastic pump and i'm not kidding after 15 minutes of use my first culture just gave up I took it back into Bunnings. I was quite surprised that they told me they need to send me to send it back to Karcher for assessment and if I abuse it, they won't replace it. Anyway, long story short, I convinced them to give me a new one that quit after another year and I had enough of Karcher. So uh, the point of this video is not only emphasize that uh, there are budget brands that are similar or cheaper, and I'm not talking about brand itself, I've got nothing against culture. Uh, I'm just trying to say that in the same version of pressure cleaner, Azito, even both of those uh, uh, made in China, performs better than culture. So when I, bought, uh, when I bought this one, I bought it for purpose of washing car, and another purpose was to wash the roof of the house. And the reason why I'm telling the story, because the car is a small object, you can wash car in uh, 5, 10, 15 minutes, depends how um, clean you would like it to, to be and what, what your practice is. But my house is close to 250 square meters of roof and it took me two days to pressure clean it. And my first couch and second couch would quit after probably half an hour consistent work. I work a whole day probably close to six to seven hours of total time uh, with probably 30 minutes uh, work, five minutes off interval, uh, pressure cleaning the roof. And it is still functional pressure cleaner. And it's beyond three years now, and they've given you three years warranty. And this is where I would try to say that Azito may be a budget brand, but there's nothing wrong with the brand itself. And that led me buy a bigger one. Why do I need a bigger one? Because when I finished the roof, uh, I decided to clean a driveway. It's a bit moldy. It's kind of, you know, I've got some typical gray driveway that becoming more black within the time. So I decided to wash it and the pressure of that one was not enough. So you're asking me why not to buy one proper uh, pressure washer and uh, my answer is I purchased this one for $49 and this one for $99 and I probably don't want to have a single appliance what I, I would use for everything for example when I wash in my car I rather have controlled 
uh, lower pressure that I won't damage the paint, then I will think how close I'm coming with a more powerful pressure cleaner. Um, if, for example, with Karcha K3 or K4. And also, look, it's a price difference. Now I've got two appliances together. They cost me less than $150. With Karcha K3 or K4, I think it's definitely more than $200. And in fact, I think K4 costs three to $400. And again, I've got nothing against Karcha, but I think many people that are watching my channel, they would like to know, if you buy budget appliance, can you get away with something like that that will last you? So here's my first assumption, the reason for purchasing another Azito. First of all, this one survived very extensive work. The second one, usually they put a big print here. What is good about uh, pressure cleaner? This one was all about uh, uh, patio head included, so you've got uh, extra uh, uh, attachments and things like that. And also, I mean, like, what can you put in the cheapest uh, appliance as, as a front label? Literally nothing. So they put like three years warranty. I think it's all over the uh, labels. A long cable and party attachment included. Now, look the difference here. In a big writing, it says powerful 2030 PSI with aluminum pump. So here is my third. If cheap plastic pump could withstand days of work, just did not maintain pressure that I wanted for dry away, in my books, the brand is already good, but aluminum pump should last even longer. The second reason why to buy Azito is if you buy Karcher or probably many other pressure cleaners, Bunnings would need to send them back to a uh, supplier for assessment. Azito They've got policy of straight swap. So here you go. First of all, two appliances for cheaper than one more expensive brand. Second is not many appliances in that price range and that uh, pressure level would give you aluminum pump. And third, no questions asked, three years warranty. So please let me know in the comments if you had any other concerns about Azito. I'm, I'm happy to literally uh, review anything that people would ask me to. The whole idea is to serve community and uh, answer those questions that you would like to be answered before you buy or commute. So if someone asks me if I'm still happy with this one, yes I am, but today's video is not about this one. So I'll push it aside and let's unbox this one. So the whole idea of this pump was uh, to probably clean driveway and nothing else. And the reason why I bought this one is forums. As much as I'm trying to help my viewers here, I'm reading forums and I appreciate that other people put their input in. So, of course, there are different opinions. You could see people that bought more expensive pumps saying that this pump is rubbish, it's uh, uh, not comparable. However, if you deselect people that really defend their purchase and look in between the lines what people will say, there were a lot of people that reported that it's not comparable, but it's coming close to almost uh, mid-range petrol uh, uh, pressure washers. And that tells me that pressure is good enough, right? I didn't yet try it, I'm just about to unbox it, but this is how I got into buying it. So at the moment, again, I've got a couple of things going for Azizu. First price, second warranty, third, no hassle, three years swap, and fourth, it's basically people saying, you pay not that much money, but you're getting a lot of the product. So this is what was the main driver for me to buy it. Now. Let's open up and see what's inside. I don't expect any miracles or any surprises, but for some reason people like an unboxing and uh, find out what's inside before they purchase theirs. So here it is. Right, so again, picked up from local Bunnings. Um, usually it's $108, uh, it's $99 on special. I think some people a year ago or so managed to get it for $90. I guess plus minus $10. It doesn't really matter, or maybe it does. 
Um, let's open up and see what's inside. Got uh, instruction set here. You've got, I guess, let's start with a small item. That's the attachment. That's the gun for attachment. I guess it's just normal twist and play. Yep. Now, I think that would be parts of uh, all right we've got separately wheels that need to be attached under pressure washer and I think it's a big part of it uh, five meter pressure hose that's another wheel and the appliance itself all right I'll just move this to the side and we try to assemble it. Uh, they say man doesn't read instruction. Maybe. I don't think that's a fair for my viewers for me to read instruction while I'm filming. But I try to assemble uh, the way it looks uh, logical. And if it's not logical, I'll do it offline and then report on you how hard it is. So, wheels. Let's put wheels first. I think it just clip on. Is it? Yep, one wheel on, the other wheel on. Uh, there's another attachment. Yes, so I think that's the gun, that's the middle section, and that's where I guess nozzle itself, where I think by twisting you change an angle of the stream. So it's straightforward. I think this attachment is quite standard for all Azitas and um, I'm quite glad I can uh, use the party attachment from other kit. So again, having two Azitas with separate attachments give you opportunity to uh, utilize because it's the same standard of appliance. Alright, so what we've got here? Is it front or back? I think it might be... slide on oh it's a handle great so then we've got cable for here and I think this one would be handle for the back of it and I think there might be a screw to put it on yep there are screws provided so I'll screw it later on so here it is it's all done I think uh, I need to put screws on, connect it all together, and it's ready for trying it. So, please let me know if you would like me to review, to compare both of the pressure cleaners, or you would like me to try out this one and report my impression how it works to clean driveway. Mind you, my driveway wasn't clean for five years, so it's pretty moldy i'm not talking about the uh like green mold it's like a black i think suit and mold together so it looks like uniformly black and i think it should be gray and i'm looking forward and i'm wondering whether i should put chlorine first to kill that mold and then pressure clean i'm just afraid to kill my uh, grass and plants around it or i should give it a go and clean it straight away with uh, some water maybe detergent without killing uh, possibility of killing my plants so please let me know in the comments below otherwise thank you so much for tuning in until next time greg from brisbane australia